I just wanted to make a quick video touching on analog and digital. I see a lot of confusion online on social media. People's comments, uh, you kind of cringe because uh, I don't think people know the difference. Just because something's hardware doesn't mean it's analog. I don't know where to start with this topic, but um, I want to make it clear that there's one isn't better than the other. For instance, an MPC. Every MPC that was ever made by Akai is a digital sampler. It's not an analog device. Tritons, Phantoms, Kronos, Montage, Motif, you know, a lot of those keyboards, those are digital as well, not analog. It could be a little confusing because a lot of this gear has analog connections. So if it has quarter inch outputs, those are, you know, analog outputs, but that's why our converters or our audio interface on our computer are literally called analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion. So whatever goes to the sound card, uh, the sound card, I would call it a hybrid device, kind of like it has the analog uh, inputs and outputs, but it, what it's doing is, is it's digitizing it to get into the computer. Even if you saw a room full of hardware and analog, uh, nine times out of 10, they're going to be tracking it to a computer. So all that purist stuff doesn't really uh, hold up too well considering it ends up in the computer. We're not recording to tape these days. Anything involving a computer is also digital. Uh, a microphone is analog. A turntable is analog. A tape deck is analog. A CD player is digital, clearly, I would hope. Uh, an MP3 player is digital. An iPad, an iPhone, digital. Now there's analog synthesizers. Uh, analogs, from what I gather, doesn't have a lot of screens on them. Uh, a lot of knobs, a lot of faders, a lot of combinations of those things. So a, a microphone preamp, analog. Hardware compressor, analog. Hardware reverb, digital. Hardware delay, digital. Hardware EQ, analog. You know, I'm not going to break down every single thing. This, this could go on and on and on. But I think it's important to know the difference because there's people, you know, so proud to be analog and they're using a digital sampler. So it's, it's, uh, it is apples and oranges, but it, we should know the difference, you know. Just stop telling people the wrong things, right? I don't know if I said like an analog mixer is analog generally. Of course, there's digital mixers as well. Maybe depending on the type of gear, uh, there might be some advantages to one over the other. But, you know, a digital synthesizer isn't crap right off the bat because, oh, it's digital. It sucks. It's not analog. Like, no. All our keyboards and NPCs have been digital for uh, over 30 years now. But know your stuff. Uh, I think that's all I want to encourage is just proper proper knowledge, knowing what you're talking about. A plug-in uh, emulating a Neve console is still a plug-in. Yeah, and to further perhaps confuse or enlighten, uh, there's analog connections, XLR, quarter inch, 8 inch, 3.5, etc. Then there's ADAT, optical, USB, FireWire, Thunderbolt. Those are digital connections. I hope this, this made sense. Okay. But either way, I just encourage people to know the difference between analog and digital because uh, there's a lot of pride going around and um, they're wrong. Uh, I'll leave you with that. Take care. God bless.